Hey folks, I recently picked up something interesting. It's the egg pod and it's for making hard boiled eggs. I'm always looking for an interesting way to make hard boiled eggs. I know it's not really difficult, you know, you put them in water, but sometimes, and, you know, you bring it to a boil, but sometimes they just don't turn out really well and they're hard to peel. Well, supposedly this uh, takes care of all that. Cook and peel eggs in minutes. Well, yeah, minutes. We'll get into that later, but it takes about nine minutes to cook, two minutes to cool down, and then two minutes to rinse under cold water. So you're talking more than just a few minutes. But still, if the eggs turn out well and they're easy to peel, I'm all for it. Now, this only you can only do four eggs at a time. So I'm going to show you first how I'm going to prepare these eggs, just like the directions, you know, from this. And then I'm going to make just some simple uh, uh, deviled eggs. Nothing fancy, but I love deviled eggs. So does my wife. So this will be a win-win for both of us. So here's how I use this and make some deviled eggs. And then stay tuned for the taste test. Okay, first time using the egg pod. I've got four eggs in here. And then I'm going to add 50 milliliters of water. They, they, the cup comes with it. It says don't use anything more than that. And then make sure you use the aluminum inserts on both top and bottom. And then seal it up. And then we're going to put this in the microwave on high for nine minutes. And then let it cool off for two minutes. And I'm going to leave it in the microwave for that two minutes. Once it's done, I'm going to take it out and rinse under cold water for about two minutes to cool the eggs down. And just drain off a tad bit of the water and then put the lid back on. The lid's a little tricky to get on there, but you can mess around with it and you'll get it on. And lock it in place. And then give it a good shake. I'm not kidding. It's it's kind of like the uh, another product, the Neg that I've used, where you use that to get the shells off. And let's see if this works. Okay. Looks like it might work. Let's start peeling some eggs. Oh yeah. Those shells come off so easy. Uh, this, this is really good. I like this. I really like this. So I'm, I'm making four eggs here, but I'm going to do uh, four more because I want, I want six eggs to do the, uh, the deviled eggs. So one thing I did notice that I thought was odd and I tried flipping, you know, I tried with the second one is the second batch, the bottom of the egg. Is flat like that it didn't matter if I put it you know the other side no didn't matter oh well it'll be fine for the uh, the deviled eggs okay let's make some deviled eggs simply want to cut them lengthwise like that and look these yolks turned out really good there's no no dark ring around them Now we're going to mash them up really good. And then make a quick dressing with three tablespoons of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then just mix that up really well. You could add some cayenne if you wanted. I just... My wife doesn't like spicy stuff, so I just kept the spice to a minimum. And then just add this to the egg yolks. Pretty simple, right? Give this a good mix. And 
and then let's uh, stuff our eggs. Looks good. Okay. I like to do my egg stuffing old school. Just using a spoon. You know, a lot of people use a piping bag or a Ziploc bag with a little hole in it. I like to just spoon it in. It's quick. It's easy. That's just the way I've made them for years and years. So we end up with 12 deviled eggs and then just top it with a little bit of uh, paprika and let's give it a taste. Okay, they've been refrigerated for, for about 30 minutes. They're nice and chilled, so let's give it a taste test. They certainly do look pretty darn good right now. Uh, I have to say though, the one thing I did not like about this, this thing was the flat, the bottoms are flat and I I even tried the second batch, I flipped the eggs upside down and I still got this flat. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some more testing with this. I, I really don't understand why this happened on all of them. Uh, I've never had that happen using traditional, you know, put them in a pot, boil the water and everything. But that could be because they were laying, I don't know, horizontal instead of straight up, whatever. But Anyway, there they are. Let's give them a taste test. So simple, yet so good. Such a simple recipe. And uh, I, will, I will continue trying this. I'm gonna see if I can get anything better. I mean, granted, it peels the eggs peel really easily it cooks i mean you don't have to do you just put it in there put a little water you don't really have to think about it it's pretty simple i, I think all in all i give it a thumbs up uh i will play with it a little bit more and these eggs turned out really good so i'm really happy with that well there you have it folks thanks for watching